Hey guys, it's Anita here. I need to be honest. Today I'm going to share with you things that I don't have to share, no one's telling me to, but I, it's important to me to be honest and to share it because in doing so I set myself free and I hope that it will set you free in whatever way you need as well. Last week I published a video about ditching all blueprints, but I want to show you the magnitude of what I got stuck into and what I've been working myself out of and what it actually means for me to ditch all blueprints. As humans, we are inclined to want to follow formulas. And this is normal because we all have some fear of the unknown. And when, when we hear someone's formula, we hear their story of how they got to where they are and they tell us all the steps. It's comforting to us because we feel like one thing, it's actually a good thing because it helps us know that, okay, like they, they did it. I see the steps. I see the 10 steps, so if I just follow it, I'll be able to do it too. It's good for giving us that reason to go for it at the beginning, but often we'll reach a certain point where we'll realize naturally that someone else's formula isn't going to work for us because we're all different and we're all meant to do something different in the world. So I first learned about online marketing really in depth in 2014, but already within 2015, within a couple months of doing it and trying to implement it in my life, I could feel that it wasn't for me. And when I say traditional internet marketing, I mean things like sales funnels, conversion, squeeze pages, landing pages, email lists, evergreen funnels, webinar, video series, uh, internet launches, and people can get super, super into it and into the whole analytics of trying to make online marketing make money for them. And so I had already started to feel in 2015 that this wasn't something for me. I didn't just want to keep like doing these marketing-y thingies because they didn't feel right. They always made me feel like I should only create something if I know that eventually I'm going to be able to create money from it later. And I didn't like that feeling. I just wanted to create things for the freedom of it and to give things and to share my information and my insights and my journey with people in a way that would be helpful to both of us. And I didn't care specifically about needing to make a specific amount of money from it. But as my head got sucked into the online marketing world, everyone was always talking about these like six figure internet launches and making all kinds of crazy money online that, you know, like I said about formulas, it's easy for us to want to follow someone's formula. So in mid 2015, I started doing something radical and I hadn't really seen other people do this, but I didn't want to create a program so I could make money from it. I wanted to create a program and share my insights and my journey with people so that they could just be empowered. So I created this program called Funded and Flow, and it was all about how your dreams are supposed to be funded and that abundance is supposed to be flowing. And if it's not, this program will show you how. And I created it, at first I launched it the way I had been taught by online marketing gurus to do it. But very quickly, I was like, this doesn't feel right. I just want to put it out there. So I literally took the buy button off and put a donate button instead. So instead of having a price tag, people could give whatever they wanted. For the most part, I felt really good about this, but I had wanted to value the program at a certain amount because I knew the impact it could make. But when I put the donate button, I had people who gave me 50 bucks, 100 bucks, and I, I even put a minimum suggested donation just to help people understand the value of the program. But what ended up happening was that I also had people give me $5 and $10 for the program. And something about this didn't feel quite right to me. It felt like a stab. And I had to slow down and stop and figure out for myself, well, why am I feeling this way? Is it because I'm not grateful for the money? Is it because I'm afraid I won't have enough? Because as a creator, I don't make income in normal ways. And so this was one of the ways that would allow me to keep doing what I do. Or was part of it, you know, was it just me and my own lack mentality that I needed to work through and grow out of? Or was it more? And when I dug deep, I knew it was something more. It was that I had put a lot of love and an intention into this program for what it would do for people. And I knew that when someone just gave me five bucks for it, and I gave them all the content, they wouldn't take the content seriously, they likely wouldn't finish the whole program, and it felt like it was diluting the energy of the program. Like, I wanted to have people who were in the program who were really engaged and getting something from the content and who would implement it 
in their lives and would change their lives. So I, I knew that when people gave me just a, gave me really small amounts for, for programs that I had created, this is a full-fledged six modules in this program, like slides and everything, like really some of my best content and my deepest learnings from this journey of being a creator, I knew that it wasn't actually serving people to let them give me five dollars and then me give them the whole program. Because if money is energy, for them to just give me five dollars means that they're just putting a tiny bit of energy into it. And it wouldn't and it would just dilute the energy of the program. Around this time I also started to discover the work of Charles Eisenstein. He's written a book called Sacred Economics, which is does a really good job of explaining how money flows in our world and how it alienates us and creates these systems of exchange. And I also around this time learned about the idea of basic income, which is that in certain places in the world the government will give people a basic income so that they know that their basic needs are taken care of and then they can just create. And as a creator I really understood the value of that because I didn't, like, I'm not here to be a millionaire and to like flash around, you know, fancy travel, luxury travel. For me what matters is creating things that are meaningful to me and to other people. And so having like a minimum income where i knew that i could be i would be supported was really was would just feed my creativity and allow me to create even more and give even more so i was starting to gather all of these new understandings of money you know having created a program on a donation basis you know as a result of ditching the online marketing stuff and really reorganizing my understanding around money and then 2016 came and i had to learn some really tough but important lessons about money I want to share some of what happened with you guys. It's taken me a while to process and really come to understand, but but it's important because I know a lot of you want to live an unconventional life. And learning to reorganize your understanding of money is so important. Otherwise, you will constantly be caught in the trap of trying to follow someone else's formula in order to make money instead of really linking up to the infinite abundance that is everywhere. So in spring of 2016, I put about six to eight weeks full time of putting together the third season of Global Meditation Scope. And Global Meditation Scope is a worldwide movement on Periscope that brings together all kinds of live streamers who shared different ways to meditate and taught people how to meditate. And this was a lot of work and energy to put it together because there's a lot of, I think we had 150 broadcasters a part of it, like so many people involved. And I put a lot of love into it. This was one of these inspired ideas that I just ran with and I didn't have any attachment to how much money would come. I just followed that inspiration. Working on this full time, putting like eight to 10 hours a day, just working on this, doing the absolute best that I could to make it a good experience for everyone. I remember, the last day of Global Meditation Scope, because it was a three-day event, and so on the Sunday, I was tired. You know, so many people said they had an amazing experience, and I was so upset. And no one saw this on Periscope because my I wasn't broadcasting, but I was so upset because I felt like I had just put in so much of my personal time and effort. This wasn't meant to be a money-making venture and I had helped so many people and now I still had to worry about how I was gonna get to where I was gonna go next, how I was gonna support myself, how I was gonna feed myself for the next little while and how I was gonna keep creating. And it was the worst feeling ever. It was, and it was the worst feeling ever. And I felt like the universe was trying to teach me a really important lesson about money, which is that you don't have to feel bad about charging for things. Because around this time that I, I made Global Meditation Scope, I was also part of something else that someone else put together where they taught people how to travel and I was a contributor to that and I was an affiliate for that which meant that when, other pe when I shared that program and if other people bought through my link, they would get the sales but I would get a commission for it. And I, I remember getting the emails, I remember sending out emails to people who were part of Global Meditation Scope and then getting emails back from this person who ran this travel program and he talked about like they had raised enough money to build a school. Um, multiple people were earning five figures through this launch and, and at the same time people were getting to change their lives because they bought the program. 
So while that kind of selling things online might not be exactly what I want to do in the long term, I could not deny the fact that I was looking at me with my six to eight weeks of so much effort and this person who also put in a lot of effort but they actually had money to show for it at least they could take a break and they didn't have to keep worrying about how they were going to feed themselves because they had made money from it and they also had a small team and an assistant helping them because they had the money to pay for to pay for that person so that was a really tough lesson and i felt like the universe was showing me look anita it's okay to charge people for things because money is just a resource and when you have more resources it allows you to serve and to reach more people and it allows you to create better programs too like i realized if i had help with global meditation scope and and i had a small team we could have made an even bigger impact and we could have created more concrete ways for people to learn meditation instead of just this quick one-off learn to meditate through live streaming and then poof it was gone it was through that in experience that I really understood that charging money is not a crime. In fact, it actually helps people when I put a price tag on certain things because it gives them an opportunity to commit more. Personally, I continually invest in myself and invest in my education and in growth. Sometimes it's through a small investment like a book and sometimes it's through something bigger. And I am actually where I am at now with the courage and the resilience and the tenacity to be a creator and to carve my own path because I invested in someone else's $2,000 online program during my last semester of university and I just went for it. And it was because I put in the $2,000 of my own money that I was like, I am going to make this work and I don't care what it takes, I have to give it a shot and I'm going to learn as much as I can from this person. If I had decided that I didn't want to put any money in and that I was just going to get a job and learn everything about online creation on the side, I can guarantee you that I wouldn't be where I'm at now. I wouldn't have the kind of spirit and boldness that I do to share the things I do now. I just, I wouldn't be the same person. So I'm actually really grateful that someone went through the effort of creating a beautiful, comprehensive program that taught me a lot of the online marketing blueprint because it gave me something to believe in. I had a mentor for a time and I could at least see the 10 steps that this person had gone through to go to get where they're at now. And so it gave me the courage and the belief to go for it. So I know that there are some people who are like, oh, all these people selling programs. But personally, I have invested in an online program, actually multiple online programs, and I have seen the benefit in my own life and what it does when you commit and you put your energy and your money, because money is just energy, into a direction that you want to move in in life. At the same time, I really know the value of sharing things for free and I'm a creator and an artist at heart and that is what I love to do. I just like to create things and share them with you guys. And I have put in hundreds of hours into Periscope, Instagram, and YouTube to create these, these pieces for you guys because I love it. So at the same time that the universe was teaching me all these things through these experiences, I was also going through my own process of developing my own money mindset and really getting into a place where I understood that I live in a universe of infinite abundance and that it is a good thing to be a good steward of a lot of money and to be able to use that resource to, to reach people, to create beautiful things and inspire people. So why am I making this video and why am I sharing this with you guys? Last weekend on Friday, I hosted a free workshop called How to Travel the World Full Time. And in many ways, this was done using traditional internet marketing tactics. I don't really like the word tactics, but there was an opt-in page where you signed in with your email and it took you to something that looked like a webinar. And then at the end of that webinar, it looked like, it sounded like I was selling you something. So I want to share personally that I know that I've grown a long way because I was able to do that webinar from a place that was way more open-hearted and totally unattached to the outcome. At the same time, I admit that I was working within the internet marketing framework. And for a lot of you guys who have seen the internet marketing hype, maybe Maybe you haven't and you don't really know what I mean by this and that's okay, you're lucky. For all of you guys who have seen the internet marketing hype and you've seen like a billion people doing webinars and doing the exact same thing, you're probably as sick of it as I am because honestly I am sick of it too. And so I did my absolute best to make sure that 
my entire process, the emails, the page, and the workshop were done in a way that it felt really good to me and it felt really honest and genuine for me. Not from this like salesy, markety thing. Honestly, I didn't follow a blueprint for the webinar. I just was like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna share the most useful tips I can with you guys for how to travel the world full time. And I'm going to share Think Their Full Travel with you afterwards. If you saw that workshop, it's still on my YouTube channel, How to Travel the World Full Time. I hope that you at least felt the real me shine through, even though I totally admit I was kind of stuck within the paradigm of internet marketing. So why did I do the webinar then if I have been feeling icky about internet marketing and I also know that you guys have probably been feeling icky about internet marketing things as well. I wanna be totally honest, I did it because it was comfortable, it was easy, and because there was a part of me that was afraid not to do it. So I'm not here to make any excuses for myself. I just wanna, I just wanna air this out so that we can really begin the rest of my journey creating content with you guys from a fresh slate. Well, on one hand, I was already comfortable with the format of doing a workshop and then introducing the program that was available for people to buy afterwards. It was also easy, and I'm a big believer in the path of least resistance. It doesn't mean that you're lazy, but it doesn't, it means you don't need to make it extra hard for yourself because the journey will unfold. And at the same time, there was fear because I knew that this worked and to do it in an entirely different way, I didn't quite have the mental capacity and the space to do it. And there was also time. I'm only here in Toronto for a couple of weeks and after this I'm going to Europe and when I'm in Europe I'm not going to be on my laptop as much and in order to organize the bits together to put the workshop out into the world I need to have access to good Wi-Fi and so I had limited time. If I were to completely open Think Fair for Travel again next time 100% is going to be done differently but within this time I had certain constraints and I had to work within them. At the same time, I did not do any ads. I didn't post about Think There for Travel or about the workshop when I didn't feel called to. And I always made sure that when I wrote an email or when I posted about it or I talked about it, it was from a place of genuinely wanting to share. Not because it was like so-and-so marketing guru told me I needed to write X number of times about it. So just to be clear, this time, even though I did a webinar and I did some things that look like traditional marketing strategies, I really followed my heart. And that was really important to me to go through that process and to kind of burst the internet marketing bubble for myself from the inside out. So what's the purpose of this video? I wanted to just come clean and tell you guys that yeah, I know that I have been using some internet marketing-y things that I'm not the proudest of, but I did them because partly it was fear and the formula and it got me you know and partly because it was just my learning curve i had to learn these really important lessons about money and i wouldn't have learned them had i not gone through it myself and now if i choose to offer something for free to people i genuinely mean it and at the same time if i choose to put a price tag on something i do it because i know what it's worth and i know what it's going to mean for people who invested it and how it's going to help them a hundred percent I could not have learned these lessons had I not gone through the experiences that I did in 2015 and 2016 and, and at the same time I might still do things that look like their internet marketing type like I like writing emails to you guys and I like posting videos and I like sharing things on Instagram but I want you to know that I am aware and very acutely aware of the internet marketing world and when I choose to do anything that looks like a webinar or you know, like looks like a sales funnel, like honestly, I don't give a crap about that stuff. I don't care about converting anyone or monetizing anything. I am just here to create and to live. So if it ever looks like I'm doing that kind of stuff, I'm going to link you back to this video where I'm explicitly telling you that like, I'm aware that it might look like that, but that's not how I mean it. I write emails and I write these things because I genuinely just want to share. And I hope that you can feel it. At the same time, there is honestly nothing wrong with internet marketing stuff. There's a lot of people who are doing really well in that world and they use those strategies and those tactics and they work for them. But not all of us are meant to follow the same formula. And I had to learn through experience and through falling off my bike 
traditional internet marketing is not for me. However, I'm grateful that I was introduced to that world because as I mentioned, it gave me the courage to go for it right out of graduation because I saw that there was a way. And to be honest, I really feel and I know in my heart that the next wave of leaders and creators in the world, they're not going to be internet marketing gurus. They're going to be people who live with an open heart and authentically share their journey and story. In fact, 90% of the entrepreneurial friends that I made when I first started out in the online world, and they were all in this online bubble sphere, 90% of them don't like the internet marketing stuff anymore either. But as I talk to them, I can tell that a lot of people are still stuck in it because of the formula, because they see it and, and they don't know how to get. Because if you're not making money through this formula, how are you making money? Right? And that is what I'm here to explore and that is the life that I live and that is the journey that I'm on. So I personally, in order to get to this place where I could completely ditch all online marketing things and start from scratch with an open heart and just create and share that journey, I had to completely relearn and reorganize my money mindset. And this is something that takes concentrated effort and just intention because if I didn't reorganize my money mindset honestly I would still be afraid to ditch the internet marketing paradigm because I wouldn't see and I wouldn't be able to understand how to make money in the world. So these were really tough lessons for me to learn over the past year and a half but they're so important and now I'm really grateful for them because they have set me free. They have set me free to just be the artist and the creator that I wanted to be and the rebel and adventurer. So I am really excited for this next phase of creation and what it means for us and the life that I get to live now, now that I've just freed myself from trying to, trying to make money online. I don't see myself as an entrepreneur. If anything, I see myself more aligned with artists because artists are people who are devoted to their craft, who share because it's what they love, it's what they have to do, it's what they are compelled to do. And for me, making videos like this and chronicling the journey is what fills me up inside. And if you ever felt ick from any of my emails or my posts, or you ever felt like I did things that were kind of internet marketing-y, and they didn't feel like my whole, full, natural self, I am sincerely sorry, and I felt it too. That's all I can say. I felt it too, and it was through those experiences that I learned that I don't want to do that stuff anymore. And now you understand why. And those experiences gave me a really deep, profound clarity and vision for the way I do want to create and the way I do want to make my living and create meaningful things in the world. So thank you for sticking with me through this journey and through this whole process. If you're still subscribed to my emails, thank you for being with me through that journey, through my like messy emails that weren't perfect and weren't my whole self. And I promise you that now, more and more and more, I want to give you my full, authentic, and real self. Not the edited, not the like pre-marketing screen version, just me and this journey and the big, wild, free world and all the adventures that we go on. I hope that you guys are excited as I am to be finally free of the internet marketing paradigm and to just not have to worry about it. If you are and budding entrepreneur yourself and you're, you're aware of the marketing paradigm I'm talking about. I hope that this gives you permission to just let it go as well. And really reorganize your understanding around money. Really understand what money and how it flows through the universe. So that you can really be free to just create and not have to rely on someone else's formula. You know, the reason that we can see that it's a formula and that we don't like it is because it's like one person's formula and none of us are supposed to follow it. So I hope that by coming clean that your heart feels lighter and that you feel that you can trust me more. I just wanted to do this because honestly I, I made a periscope like this last year or maybe, or maybe 2015. But to publicly say this on YouTube and to have it for you guys, for me to link back to, means that we're doing this for real. There's a lot of good stuff on the way. I'm still working on my Hong Kong video. Travel videos are a whole other ball game in terms of editing and piecing something beautiful together. But that's my art, that's my craft. I'm gonna get back into doing more regular periscopes where I do just honestly share my journey with you guys, just like I'm doing right now. And then of course, if you do feel called to, you wanna dive deeper and you wanna know the insides of how to become an empowered world traveler, 
feel free to check out my program, Think Therefore Travel. That is one of the few things that I create that does have a concrete price tag on it because I know how much it genuinely helps people and how good it actually is. And I also make it really clear in the program, for the record, that this is not meant to be a blueprint for you to follow. It combines really important spiritual principles and abundance mindset and money mindset with really practical travel advice and tips and I do show you guys you know how I've done things but I make it clear that this is not my blueprint and I put the two and two together so that you can really find the way to travel that's right for you not just following what I did and then also find ways to travel again and again and again because you're gonna know how to create your own blueprint not just follow mine. That's what Think There for Travel is about, and you can click the link below to learn more about it if that resonates with you. So thank you guys so much for being here and for watching this whole thing. I am honored to be on this journey with you, and I feel so grateful and blessed every day that I get to do this with you. And always remember, you don't need to follow anyone else's blueprint. Even if there are a hundred gurus who are telling you that that's what you should do and that's what you need to do in order to make money, it's not. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.